Breaking news here on HQ. If you're just now joining us, Cam Newton resigning with the Patriots, according to reports. This after spending last season there. Cam, of course, coming from the Panthers before that, was a free agent. Took a chance with New England and Bill Belichick. Didn't have the season he wanted, but completed 65% of his passes, eight touchdowns, and 10 interceptions. Of course, that season was riddled with testing positive for COVID-19. Didn't have the weapons around him at the time, but looking to reunite once again in New England and try it for a season once more. All right, joining us now, Jonathan Jones to follow this breaking news. And JJ, your reaction, uh, we, we thought there may be another landing spot, but now heading back to New England with Cam Newton. Yeah, that was one of two landing spots for Cam Newton, the other one really being the Washington football team and reuniting with Ron Rivera there as both teams figure out what's going to happen with the quarterback market. But going back to New England makes a ton of sense for Cam Newton. And Bill Belichick all season long raved about Cam Newton's work ethic, uh, how he was you know, the first to, to be there and the last to leave, et cetera, et cetera. Now, we know that he's not still the same quarterback that he was in, let's say, 2015, when he won 48 out of 50 votes for the NFL MVP. I'm not entirely sure that with his shoulder that has been operated on twice now, that he's going to be able to get through an entire 16-game season healthy and throw the ball effectively. We, we saw at, the, at parts of last season where he was sort of dribbling the ball uh, at times around the field. The arm kind of gave up on him. But he was able to make it through the end of the season. So uh, he likes the structure there in New England. He has responded very well to the structure there in New England. And I do not believe that this move whatsoever precludes the New England Patriots from going after another quarterback, be it in the free agent market, uh, a la Jimmy Garoppolo, or uh, in the NFL draft in late April. But they do get Cam on a one-year deal, one that I'm sure is not going to be worth a ton of money, but filled with incentives uh, to bring him back for a second year in their system. You mentioned it there. Uh, they could go after another quarterback. Are we looking at Cam as a starter, backup role, heading back to England? What do you think? Well, he's the best quarterback on the roster today, uh, and there's, there's no question about that. But in terms of whether he would be able uh, to, to win the starting job, you know, we're going to have to see who actually uh, is uh, is going to be on that team and what what moves they're going to make. Uh, I would not pencil him in as the week one starter by any stretch of the imagination. But right now, yes, there's no doubt he's the best quarterback on the roster. A lot of people could say that, you know, last year he didn't have a lot of weapons. Julian Edelman wasn't there for a chunk of the time. Uh, he didn't have... Nikhil Harry, parts of the season as well. You mentioned the injuries with Cam as well throughout the season. If he's given the weapons or surrounded with more talent, could we see him kind of eclipse what we saw last season? I think absolutely. I think, you know, he mentioned uh, on a podcast within the past month how COVID-19 uh, and, and him being uh, positive for that affected him uh, in, in early in the season. I think it was week five or week six, and he was trying to, to get caught up to the Patriots scheme, and that set him back a little bit. Uh, and then you look at the weapons that they need to assemble. The Los Angeles Chargers, very surprisingly, did not franchise tag Hunter Henry, so he's going to hit the market. And you'd have to believe with the money that Bill Belichick has to spend in free agency that that's a guy that he's going to target. You look at wide receivers, a Will Fuller, a Kenny Galladay, who was not tagged by the Detroit Lions. Those are guys that you have to imagine. Again, Bill Belichick, let's spend the money because you're getting your defensive players back after they opted out from COVID-19. You're going to hope that that defense is going to get back closer to what it was in 2019. And then, of course, you just have to replenish the cupboard there uh, with the offensive skill position. So I think uh, without COVID-19, with a solid tight end, with a true number one wide receiver, and with the guys that he developed a rapport with, Jacoby Myers, he's known Demir Bird for many years, dating back to their time in Carolina. Hopefully Julian Edelman will be able to stay healthy throughout the season. This, if they make the right moves in the offseason, the Patriots can absolutely get back into playoff contention. You mentioned it. I was going to ask that. Where are they? If you rank them in the AFC East, you see what's happening around them. Miami doing their thing. The Bills coming off a strong run. The Jets, we just don't know what they're going to do. But looking at that division alone, how competitive can they be? Well, I don't think that the, the Bills uh, are for sure going to repeat in the AFC East. I think that they are the top dogs right now, uh, and they deserve to be number one on everyone's list. Uh, you know, we'll see as we get into the season whether or not Josh Allen can continue to be a top five quarterback in the NFL. 
Uh, the Miami Dolphins, very interested to see uh, who their quarterback is going to be, whether it's Tua Tagovailoa or Deshaun Watson. And so it's hard to say right now exactly where you would slot the New England Patriots. Uh, again, I don't necessarily, if I had to say that Cam Newton was going to be the week one starter for the New England Patriots, I'm not sure I would say that just yet. Again, free agency kicks off in just a couple of days. We're going to see what position the Patriots are in uh, come draft time at the quarterback position. But I think with the guys they're getting back on defense, with the moves that we all expect them to make, in free agency, tight end, wide receiver, especially that the Patriots, again, can absolutely be back in playoff contention. All right, clearly, as always, Bill Belichick knows something that we all don't bring. He can back for a one-year deal, as reported here. Jonathan Jones, appreciate your time, as always. As we mentioned, of course, if you look back at last season, the first three games of the year, Cam was pretty solid. But then he finished as a starter 7-8, and eight, underwhelmingly had 12 rushing touchdowns, but not too much through the air, only 8, 10 interceptions, looking to improve on that in a second year in New England with the Patriots and Bill Belichick there. Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.